So welcome back to the channel, everybody. Time for another pickup video. This time we're going to take a look at some of the CDs I've grabbed recently. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, remember to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. First one is uh, Rolling Stones, Let It Bleed. Some of the hits off of this one are obviously Let It Bleed, Midnight Rambler, Give Me Shelter, uh, Can't Always Get What You Want. Um, I don't know if I have this one. Again, I've, I've got to do a complete uh, CD collection uh, inventory and see what the hell there is. Uh, never really been too crazy into this group. This is Radiohead, uh, Hail to the Thief. And honestly, I don't know any of these songs on here. The only radio hit I really know is their one major hit, or their, uh, God damn it, main breakout CD. I think it might even be in here. Beatles, 62 to 66. Uh, I need a replacement case on this one. Uh, but nevertheless, nice to have it. What is this? I actually grabbed a bunch of uh, this next one's um, CDs. And this one is actually, um, well, first off, Miles Davis Pangea. Pangea? How do you say it? Pangea? But it's weird. There's, anyway, it's a three disc, two disc set, sorry. I've got them both in here on this one single one. Uh, digitally remastered directly from original analog tapes. And then next is uh, Tragically Hit Road Apples. It's always a nice one to have. Like I said, I think a lot of these I probably have already. Um, up to here. Tragically hip. It's kind of probably their probably their best CD. Load High Door. Uh, New Orleans is sinking. Thirty eight years old. Boots the heart. She didn't know when the weight comes down. Trickle down. Another midnight. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Originally, when I was freeing up space, I got rid of all my jewel cases and just kept the paperwork and the CDs. So. Um, and then put the CDs into, uh, sleeves and binders. Chili Peppers. Freaky Styly. Don't know much about this one either. There was a certain point when I stopped listening to, uh, the Chili Peppers. Uh, I think a lot of people have this one, Rage Against the Machine. I've actually been getting a little bit more into uh, Tom Morello. Uh, a lot more so uh, because I've uh, been digging into him just because he's been on some of the live tours with uh, uh, Springsteen. Uh, main song that they did together, the first one was uh, Ghost of Tom Joad, which Rage Against the Machine also uh, did a cover of. And... Um, but he's also got an acoustic album out, uh, Night Watchman. So I've been meaning to uh, pick that one up and try and find it. Blue Rodeo, Outskirts. Don't recognize any of the songs off of this one. And another Chili Peppers one. Um, well, self-titled Red Hot Chili Peppers. And don't recognize anything on here either. If you guys can see that. Oasis. Despite a lot of people not liking them. Um, I did like this album anyway. Don't Look Back in Anger and eh, Wonderwall. But this also had Champagne Supernova and uh, 
morning glory. And some might say, ah, Jackson 5, the ultimate collection. A little bit of uh, Canadiani here. We got Rush 2112. Big one on here, obviously, being 2112 with its, uh, which is a 20 minute song, and it's got its seven, seven parts to it, I guess, chapters. Um, what is this? Journey, greatest hits. Only the Young, Don't Stop Believing, Wheel in the Sky, Faithfully. Uh, open Arms. Fortunately, underrated, and I don't know if he's even putting out music anymore. I knew there was a, a part time. Or anyway, Ron Sexsmith. They've done a special on him on TV where his music despite being critically acclaimed, it just wasn't drawing uh, attention for him enough for him to really sort of want to continue pursuing the career. Ah, yes. Classic West Coast uh, Soundgarden. Obviously, it's got Rusty Caged, Outshine, Jesus Christ Pose. I remember when the whole grunge thing was coming out, I was just at the age where I sort of didn't understand these guys that much. Um, but the videos were, I think a lot of their videos were like black and white too. A little bit of the Beatles. Beatles for sale. Yeah. I'll follow the sun, Mr. Moonlight, eight days a week. Um, I'm pretty sure I have this one, Boston, self-titled. This one, I have no idea who they are. It just, they just sounded like they had a cool name, the Lounge Lizards. So I don't know, I don't know what kind of music it is. Anyway, there's a sax in there, keyboards, bass, guitar, and drums. It's a little bit of jazz. What year was this? Uh, 1981. Wow. Some more Rush Presto. Uh, show Don't Tell, Chain Lightning. I need my glasses. I can't see the rest on there. Love this album. Deep Purple Machine Head. I know I have this one. Uh, Highway Star. Pictures of a Home. Smoke on the water, lazy, space trucking. <clears throat> 1972. Well, third, Chili Peppers. This might be their most, most popular one. Um, Mother's Milk. What's on this one? Um, higher Ground. Fire. James Taylor, the James Taylor collection. David Bowie, the singles, 69, well, 69 to 93. It's never that much into David Bowie, honestly. Um, Definitely obvious his hits, but for a lot of the other stuff, it just never really did much for me to really want to force myself to delve into his collection. This one I know I don't have. Uh, doors, best of the doors. Break on through, light my fire. People are strange. Strange days, love me two times. Hello, I love you, LA woman, riders on the storm. Love her madly. Nice. I love these double CDs. These used to be like the big thing. 
when I first started collecting CDs. Everyone went crazy for them. Uh, not too crazy about this guy, but I'm going to try and see what he's about. Tom Waits. Frank's Wild Years. It's got that uh, super rasp. It'd probably be like if I, if I sang a song. It sounded like shit. Uh, he's got a super raspy voice. You may have recognized him. He was the uh, sanitarium uh, inmate in uh, Bram Stoker's uh, Dracula. Radiohead, the Benz. Fake plastic trees. Um, what else is here? I guess the Benz. Nirvana, never mind. It smells like teen spirit in bloom. Come as you are. That's about it. Love this album. Almost this entire album is perfect. Um, Smashing Pumpkins. Oh, I just broke it. Siamese Dream. God damn it, broke the cover on this. Oh. Piece of shit. GNR, Appetite for Destruction. Band that I never really got into that much when they initially came out, and then probably mid career, I really got more into them. Uh, I'd probably say more credit to their videos that really drew me in than anything else than their music. But you know, Welcome to the Jungle, Night Train, Mr. Brownstone, Paradise City, My Michelle, Sweet Child of Mine, Donovan, Summer Day Reflection Songs. This one's a, this is really nice on the inside. Take a look at this. Two disc set. Oops. Of course, CD is loose. That's really nice. Gino, use your illusion to Civil War, Knocking on Heaven's Door, uh, You Could Be Mine, Don't Cry. This one I don't have, which is surprising. Uh, two disc set. Springsteen, Devils and Dust. Another Springsteen one, which I didn't have yet either. Surprisingly, uh, The Rising. Sorry, I should say I didn't have physically. Uh, probably have this one, but I can't. Anytime I see like the greatest hits, I always pick it up. Springsteen's greatest hits. Uh, band that I like their early stuff on. Uh, Cake. Well, I'm not too crazy about this particular album. I think it was the one before that I really liked. Uh, another Rush. Permanent Waves. So, it's probably Spirit of Radio and Free Will. The big ones on that one. At least the ones that I like. There's another Rush. Oh, this one's different. Um, big Rush, The Big Money. That's weird. It's like a bootleg or something. It's a gold disc on there. Oh, this has a audio and video. Three songs, The Big Money, Red Sector, and Marathon, and then the video for Big Money. That's interesting. Uh, one of my favorite artists, more so with his early stuff than anything, but um, I have seen him play with uh, Crazy Horse. This is Neil Young, Ragged Glory. Uh, 
Not a particularly really good album, but in terms of songs that I want to hear. But nevertheless, if you're like into some heavy stuff from Neil, that's the one. There's an album that the Miles Davis one. Now this one I know I have. So this is definitely an extra. Uh, Miles Davis, Bitches Brew. Just gotta see if the discs are condition upgrade. Uh, Rush, Show of Hands. So it's got uh, Big Money Subdivisions, which is good. Distant Early Warning is good. Time Stand Still is good. Closer to the Heart, obviously. All right, coming down here, guys, we got uh, Miles Davis on the corner. Originally released in 1972. Interesting. Uh, Leonard Cohen, 10 new songs. Pretty sure I got this one. Police. Every breath you take the singles. Standard police song. Uh, don't have this one. This is uh, just Neil Young. So this has uh, Old Laughing Ladies on here. It's actually probably the, it's probably the one that I only really have interest in. Paul Simon, You're the One. And then, last but not least, we have Leonard Cohen, I'm Your Man. And there's some of the songs in there. So like I said, I need to go through my CD collection and uh, actually catalog everything. Eliminate the doubles and get everything back again into a jewel case as convenient as it is having all the cds um as a space saver uh disc only and inside a binder and then on your shelf you save a lot of space but like with everything else if you have it hidden it's out of sight out of mind and you just sort of don't think to pull it out and now that i've gotten back into uh i guess listening to music more than i was in the past um, it's just kind of nice that I'm going to have like a, a standalone shelf just for um, CDs and cassettes. And I'll have to figure out something for the vinyl. But anyway, leave me a comment. Let me know if uh, any of these are particularly good and that I should listen to. And then if you can recommend any from any of the artists here, um, that'd be great to hear as well. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. And we'll see you again with another pickup video very soon.